As we told you a few minutes ago, the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office is still investigating a confrontation in which deputies shot and killed a man who was holding a shotgun at a home in South St. Augustine. That makes five such incidents in St. Johns County this year in which a sheriff's deputy has shot a suspect. Channel 4's Haley Winslow has been looking into these shootings and similar ones in surrounding counties. Haley is joining us from our newsroom. Haley? Joy, today the Associated Press reported the number of law enforcement officers killed by firearms across the nation jumped by 56% this year and included 15 ambush deaths. But according to that report, gun-related police deaths still remain far below historic heights and lower than the average annual figures in the past decade. Well, luckily, no officers have been killed in Northeast Florida this year. One JSO officer was shot, another stabbed in violent confrontations, and we have had a lot of police-involved shootings. It's a life-and-death moment officers are trained for, drawing their weapon to stop a threat. It happens in our region far more often than anyone would like to see, especially in Duval County. This year, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office had 10 police-involved shootings, most recently Saturday, when SWAT officers shot 28-year-old murder suspect David Scott 21 times. They say he pointed what looked like a weapon at them and told the officers he wasn't going down without a fight. Duval has averaged nine police-involved shootings a year since 2010. JSO dealt with seven last year and ten the year before. Duval had a spike in police-involved shootings from 2007 to 2009, with 28 in 2008. In St. John's County, Monday night's deputy-involved shooting makes this the most ever in one year for that county. And all five stem from domestic violence calls involving weapons. Deputies shot and killed four of the five suspects. Channel 4 crime analyst Gil Smith. Domestic violence, those calls are usually high every year, and they are probably the most dangerous calls for a police officer to go on because they can be so highly emotional and people make last-second decisions to, to shoot sometimes when they may not even be planning to do that. Nassau County deputies resorted to deadly force four times in 2014. Putnam County once in January when sheriff's deputies shot 61-year-old Diana Connor. She was shooting at them with a rifle. Clay and Baker counties had zero deputy-involved shootings this year. The number of violent crimes has gone up significantly in 2014 from 2013. So police are going to be called out to more crime scenes um, because of those violent crimes, that spike in violent crimes. So it makes sense that you may have a few more police shootings than last year. According to FDLE statistics, violent crime was up 16% in Duval County the first half of this year. Tom.